My parents were broke, so we'd go on road trips well, upstate. We never flew anywhere. That was too much. So my 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 father was into history, so you know we'd stop by battlefields and uh, historic houses and stuff because they were free usually. And uh, a couple of the park rangers were dressed up as Revolutionary War, you know, con Continental soldiers. And I was just like, wow. The, the, the drums and the guns and the, the, the sights, it was just beautiful. You know, families and everything, and I'm like, I gotta do this. And my parents, you know, they were broke and they were just about to get divorced, but they were like, this is certainly a positive thing, this will keep them out of trouble. I was in love, I was obsessed with it. And then you start hearing some more stories about these World War One and World War Two reenactments from other guys who were in the Revolutionary War, and it sounds fascinating. After I was told that so many of the people that I had known and that I did respect and knew were totally sensible and re like really likable people from doing Revolutionary War reenacting, also belonged to uh, uh, Gross Deutschland. I thought it's like, well, if those guys are in it, it's got to be a good group of people. Then after I went out and borrowed some stuff from one event and met everybody, I realized them like that these were these were people like me. Everybody does something. Man. People climb mountains, and you know <laughs> why? I sh I should have read more in, in high school, but I didn't. But <laughs> now I'm making up for it. The history is just. I mean, it's better than anybody could ever write. It's just, you know, it's just, it's real. There's no, there's no Hollywood to it, you know? What they wore, what they carried, that's what's gotten me hooked more than the strategies and tactics is the uh, material culture of it all. And then you get into other periods and, I mean, besides World War II or World War I where you can start making stuff and, you know, colonial things and even ancient things which we're embarking on, and that's what we, uh, that's what I enjoy anyway.